Hey guys, Ridgebar TV here back with another video. Today I'll be showing you a video guide on how to defeat all three bosses on Overlord difficulty of the dungeon Redstone Castle. So let's get started. The first boss is a basic tank and spank boss. You can either start the boss to the middle of the room or start the boss to the bottom of the stairs as you see in the video. Either way will work. The boss will jump to the middle at a certain percentage of HP. Until that happens, just avoid his ground AoEs and mechanics that show up. Very simple sidestep while dealing with the other Overlord mechanics. When the boss reaches 74%, the boss will then teleport to the middle of the room and do a massive AoE where the dead zone is on the outside and the safe zone is on the inside. Ensure you're standing on the inside of the safe zone to not be killed by this mechanic. The next mechanic the boss will do is he'll spawn a bunch of clones and do ground AoEs. The easiest way to avoid this is to stand right under the boss as he's casting this ability, as you will dodge all four beams, or just sidestep if you're farther away from the boss. Other than that, there's nothing really else to this boss. Easy tank and spank. Enjoy. The second boss is a fun one. You want to start off by putting five markers placed across the carpet with one through five on one side and the shapes through the other. Have your tank stand on one through five, moving only when the green puddles drop below your feet. Doing it this way will ensure you have a nice clean transition throughout the boss fight and if your DPS goes as planned, by the time you reach the end marker, the boss will then be sucking in all the blood puddles. This fight is a pretty much a tank and spank with a couple get out of the way mechanics. The hardest part of this fight is dealing with those green circles. I found doing it this way with the markers made it a lot easier to follow and easier for the healers to keep everybody alive if they're an Archon or a melee ranged healer. Other than that, throughout this fight, the boss will do a big AoE circle, ensure that you're standing on the outside of it. When the boss reaches 50% HP, she will suck in all the blood puddles ensure that you're not standing behind the boss or in the way of these puddles and then rinse and repeat bring the boss back to marker number one move to two then three then four or shapes if you're the dps until the boss is dead please note as a healer the boss does a torture ability that does a massive amount of raid wide damage to whoever's affected by it ensure that this person is topped up as it does almost 25 to 50 percent of the person's hp depending on their gear level that's it for this fight. The final boss of Redstone Castle is another tank and spank fight with a few little tips and tricks that you can have your tank do. First off, if you start the boss right up against the wall as the tank, the whirlwinds that spawn throughout the fight will glitch into the wall and they'll stay stationary instead of moving throughout the whole fight. The other mechanic the tank needs to deal with is purple circles that are dropped on the ground. Ensure that the boss is moved out of these circles, utilizing the space as you can see in the video, you also get confused by the ads when they hit you. So try to kill the ads as quick as possible and making sure that the DPS are spread out. As if they stun you when the boss is casting a smash ability and it is not interrupted, it will one-shot the group. Pretty much you want to just move around the room utilizing the space you have and ensuring the boss is interrupted at all times whenever he starts doing a cast. Other than that, there is another torture mechanic. Just ensure that the healer is ready for this. The boss will then jump to a random raid member and stun them. This is why you need to make sure you are not stacked up, as it will he will stun anyone he lands on top of. If all your DPS is stacked, you won't be able to interrupt the mechanic, and you may wipe. Uh, other than that, uh, once the boss is about to be dead, he'll spawn even more uh, whirlwinds. Ensure that if you are not up against the wall with them, that you're watching where they're going, as they do massive damage, and taking one to three ticks could possibly kill you, depending on the Overlord difficulty. This happens to be Overlord 13, so we had to make sure we watched for every mechanic and did them properly. That's it for today. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to comment, like, subscribe, and hit that bell icon to be notified when I post a new video. Thanks, and stay safe.